of the day saint don bosco don bosco who was born in the name of john bosco in becchi italy on august 16 1815 his birth came just after the end of the napoleonic wars which ravaged the area compounding the problem was on his birthday there was also a drought and a famine at the time of his birth At the age of 2, John lost his father, leaving him and his two older brothers to be raised by his mother, Margherita. His mama Margherita Okenia would herself be declared venerable in church in 2006. Raised primarily by his mother, John attended church and became very devout. When he was not in church, He helped his family grow food and raise sheep. They were very poor, but despite their poverty, his mother also found enough to share with the homeless who sometimes came to the door seeking food, shelter, or clothing. When John was 9 years old, in a dream, John found himself fighting a large crowd of rowdy lads who were cursing and carrying on abon nimeli he tried to stop them but they refused to listen suddenly a man appeared who motioned to john and said not with the punches will you help these boys but with goodness and kindness who are you he asked the astonished boy then a woman appeared putting her arms around him she said Watch what I do John John looked The boys changed into a pack of snarling wild animals whose growls sent terror to his heart Then the woman put out her hand The bees changed again into four licking flock of lambs But what does it all mean I am just a farm boy what can I do He burst into tears The lady answered back ever to resound in his heart to be re- repeatedly audible several times in his life This is the field of your work be humble steadfast and strong Not long afterwards John witnessed a traveling troupe of circus performers He was enthralled by their magic tricks and acrobatics. He realized if he learned their tricks, he would use them to attract others and hold their attention. He studied their tricks and learned how to perform some himself. One Sunday evening, John staged a show for the kids he played with and was heartily applauded. At the end of the show, he recited the homily he heard earlier that day he ended by inviting his neighbors to pray with him his shows and games were repeated and during this time john discerned the call to become a priest to be a priest john required an education something he lacked because of poverty however he found a priest willing to provide him with some teaching and a few books John's older brother became angry at this apparent disloyalty and he reportedly whipped John by saying he's a farmer like us John was undeterred and as soon as he could he left home to look for work as a hired farm laborer he was only 12 when he departed a decision hastened by his brother's hostility john had difficulty finding work but managed to find a job at a vineyard he labored for two more years before he met joseph cafaso a priest who was willing to help him cafaso himself would later be recognized as a saint for his work particularly ministering to prisoners and the condemned In 1835 John entered the seminary 
and following six years of study and preparation, he was ordained a priest in 1841. He then changed his name to Don Bosco. His first assignment was to the city of Turin. The city was in the throes of industrialization, so it had slums and widespread poverty. It was into these poor neighborhoods that John, now known as Father Bosco, went to work with the children of the poor. While visiting the prisons, Father Bosco noticed a large number of boys between the ages of 12 and 18 inside. The conditions were deplorable and he felt moved to do more to help other boys from ending up there. He went into the streets and started to meet young men and boys where they worked and played. He used his talents as a performer doing tricks to capture attention then sharing with the children his message for the day. When he was not preaching, Father Bosco worked tirelessly seeking work for boys who needed it and searching for lodgings for others. His mother began to help him and she became known as Mama Margarita. By the 1860s, Father Bosco and his mother were responsible for lodging 800 boys. Father Bosco also identified boys he thought would make good priests and encouraged them to consider a vocation to the priesthood. He then helped to prepare those who responded favorably in their path to ordination. One of them was Saint Dominic Savio. In 1859, Father Bosco established the Society of Saint Francis de Sales. He organized 15 seminarians and one teenage boy into the group. Their purpose was to carry on his charitable work, helping boys with their faith formation and to stay out of trouble. The organization still exists today and continues to help people, especially children around the world. In the years that followed, Father Bosco expanded his mission, which had and still has much work to do. Father Bosco died on January 31st, 1888. The call for his canonization was immediate. Pope Pius XI knew Father Bosco personally and agreed, declaring him blessed in 1929. St. John Bosco was canonized on Easter Sunday, 1934, and he was given the title Father and Teacher of Youth. In 2002, Pope John Paul II was petitioned to declare St. John Bosco the patron of stage magicians. St. Bosco had pioneered the art of what is called today gospel magic, using magic and other feats to attract attention and engage the youth. St. John Bosco is the patron saint of apprentices editors and publishers, school children, magicians and juvenile delinquents. His feast day is celebrated on January 31st. Saint Don Bosco, pray for us.